Welcome to Morning Drive, where I talk to you guys when I'm driving to work or to the movies, wherever I'm going, because I don't have time throughout the day to record in the normal studio. It's not even the morning anymore. It's like it's like 4:30. I just got off work. Is Giovanni of the Radian City Gym really such a bad guy? Oh, I'm sorry. I should give him his correct title: the leader of Team Rocket. He's the leader of Team Rocket. Is he really such a bad guy? Um. He, he was doing science. He, him and his people, they were scientists. That's what they were. They were doing science. And in their science doing, they found out about Mew. They found out about Mew, the ancestor of most Pokemon, I guess. I don't know how Arceus works with Mew. I never really looked into it. That's one of the things I will look into in the future. But as far as we know, Mew is the ancestor of Pokemon. And they found Mew. And they were trying to look at his DNA and they found out within his DNA it has the code for every single Pokemon in existence which is interdasting that's interdasting so they tried to take his DNA and make another Pokemon from it and that's how we got Mewtwo you know the, the 100, number 150 it got mad and it blew up the lab it got mad and blew the lab up they, they realized they succeeded in their science experiment they, with their sciencing a little bit too well so what they did was they tried to undo all the all the X they, they realized that no Pokemon alive would be able to stop Mewtwo so they took that very literally no Pokemon that was currently alive would be able to uh, they went to they went to Mount Moon because they heard there were some fossils there and they were trying to find the fossils because if you're fossilized good chance you're dead there's a very good chance you're dead that didn't work. That didn't go so well. They didn't get the they didn't get the fossil because Red stopped them from getting the fossils. Actually, it was a super nerd who stopped them from getting the fossils, and then Red stopped the super nerd from getting all the fossils. He got one himself. After that, what happened after that? They decided, okay, no Pokemon that's alive. Let's find the spirit of a Pokemon that is alive. We got it. We got a spirit of a Pokemon that's alive. Let's go. Where do spirits go? Where do spirits go in Kanto? They go to Lavender Tower, the resting site of all the Pokemon. There's Pokemon graves there. It's, it's what, five floors? I believe it's five floors of, of Pokemon souls just dicking around. And the souls, uh, the soul of a Marowak that died protecting its baby, protecting Cubone, was in the tower. Well, they were trying to, they were trying, they in fact developed a thing that would make it so they were able to see the spirits, because normally you can't see the spirits of of Pokemon within the Lavender Tower. They developed the Silph Scope. And they even tried to use the Silph Scope to to get the get the ghost, get the spirit. Guess who stopped them there? Red stopped them. Red took the Silph Scope and Red uh, actually beat away the spirit of the Marowak. Rest in peace, Marowak. After that, what was the next plan? Um I don't know, I don't know, I don't remember what the next plan was. What was the next plan? For them to do, uh, I don't remember. They, they, you know, as far as as far as we know, Red is the bad guy within Generation One. Red, Red is the villain. Uh, Giovanni and Team Rocket saw their mistakes and realized there's something they can do to fix them. They can't completely fix it, but they can atone for their sins. And and who stopped them? Red stopped them. It's Red's fault. I blame Red. I blame Red, ladies and gentlemen. Giovanni's not a bad guy at all. He's he understands the 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 evil of his actions, the the mistakes that were his actions, and he realized he could fix it. He tried to fix it. Little ten-year-old got in his way. Some leader.